Welcome to Talk About Topeka. We have a great segment for you here on our Making Main Street segment. We have uh, from the Capital Connection, Spencer Duncan joins us. I'm Chris Schultz, your host extraordinaire for this episode. Uh, Spencer, how are you doing? Good, doing well. Glad to be here. Glad to have you this here. This is a pretty comfortable couch. It's good, right? It's not bad. I think if, if my therapist had one this comfortable, I'd probably go more often. <laughs> That's probably, you know, good couch is important. Exactly, absolutely. <laughs> it's important we're comfortable, That's right? right? <laughs> now, a, a year ago, uh, we were both in an election running against each other. We did. That was a lot of fun. It was. People I, seem to think otherwise, but actually it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, well, we've become friends since then. That's right. That's good it's, stuff. it's amazing what happens. In loss, there's still victory sometimes. Absolutely. So it's been good. And there have been a lot of good things happening. And right. we're having you on our Making Main Street show tonight because you're doing a couple of very important things. Uh, one, congratulations. You're the new president of the Topeka Performing Arts congratulations Center. Congratulations. That's one way to put it. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Absolutely. I'm excited. And also, so th that's. A very exciting thing here. It is. I mean, TPAC is essential to downtown development. I mean, it's weathered the storm. It's been here for 27 years, and it's brought people in. And there's no other place like it. I mean, we have other stages throughout the city, but none of them that are professional and deep and can actually do full-on performances. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have Tim Allen coming here in February, and there's no other place in Topeka he would have gone. Expo's too big. Other places are too small. So if we don't have this place, we don't attract that kind of talent to ever come to Topeka. Absolutely. It's very important. Uh, and, and growing our community, this place is... It is. We, we've worked really hard for TPAC to be as much local as it is it, national. And so we, we, make a, we, we make sacrifices which are good and positive to make sure that as many local organizations use this facility as possible. And, and that's the way it quite, needs to there stay. There are a lot of people who do use it. It is. We had 30 plus organizations last year who use this facility either for performances or the halls or the different things to put on health fairs and performances. So it's, it's used a lot more than people realize down mm -hmm. here. It's constant. It's constant. Yeah. And another thing that you've contributed to, uh, we've got, uh, we had an event here, Top Tank. Yep, and Top Tank. And they had, uh, a, oh, the winner of that is doing Brew Bank. <laughs> they did. They had a little problem. They gave, they, they had this great idea. We want to put in beer vent, we well, not have any beer machines. And then they passed it and they got all this money and then they said, it's not legal. Oh, crap. <laughs> womp, so, womp. so they called me, and we went over to the legislature. And on the next to last day of the legislature, we got it legal. And so now they can actually open the top tank winning concept. I think they're hoping for the end of this year. And so now you can have your beer machine in Kansas. Thank goodness. And top tank will be thriving right here in, on downtown Topeka. Absolutely. You know, lobbyists get a lot of, uh, you know, we Black do, beer, you know, but, it's okay, we're used to it, but sometimes we do good things. Who doesn't, who can't get behind beer machines, right? I, well, yeah, of I course. <laughs> Our audience sure does like it. <laughs> well, I, I think I, I want to thank you so much for all you're doing for the community. Um, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since, uh, since the election. And, and yeah, I mean, obviously continue to be active in the community, not just with TPAC, but with other organizations across the city, because you've got to, you know, downtown, and my office is downtown, so obviously for the health of Topeka, the future of Topeka, downtown development is essential and important. I'm glad to see we have a master plan, and there's some of the work that we're going to put in. But you also have to advocate for the rest of the city. That's part of, the main street is also the whole city, and so, exactly. you, you know, you've got to remember to reach out to some of these other communities and develop them there, too. And I think we're getting there. I, there's still work to do. There's always work to do. But yeah. I think we're better off today than when we were five years ago and ten years ago, and that's a positive. So Absolutely. I'm trying to make sure that that – the, truthfully, the number one thing I've tried to do is keep that conversation there. Mm -hmm. you know? And as you know, that was part of the thing when we, when we ran was, okay, these are the conversations that are important. And even though you lose, which is fine, you still got to say that conversation doesn't stop. You know, we still want the things that were important to us when we did that to, to stay at the forefront. And I think I think everybody who's a part of that has has become friends since then. We have, have the yeah. We've all gotten thing. to know each other. Yeah, yeah. It's been pretty amazing. What you kind of create this little. You it's know. like it's it's hard to you know be rivals with people who just want to care about the community. Right. Well, right? you know, none of us hated each other to start with, and none of us got nasty and said screw you, screw you. <laughs> and, and it was great. It was it was positive for the city, but yeah. it was also positive because then as we got to know each other, it develops into relationships that we hope then build into other things which are best for Topeka and us. And help build the community. Yeah, that's what it's Absolutely. all about. Absolutely. Yeah. Got to do it. Absolutely. Well, I thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. And keep up the great work. I might take the couch with me. <laughs> <laughs> It's for sale. Oh, well, it, 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 never name, mind, man. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. That's Spencer Duncan with Capital Connection. I want to thank you so much again for joining us. And, of course, we'd like to thank our sponsor, uh, GabLocal.tv. 
They celebrate, we celebrate, the people, places, events, and ideas that make our communities great places to call home. That's gablocal.tv. Of course, you can find all this content on the gablocal.tv website. And you can join us here at the Topeka Performing Arts Center twice monthly for Talk About Topeka Live, which is where we're at right now. Uh, so get those tickets at gablocal.tv. And thank you so much for being here, Spencer. Thank you for being here.